Okay, the last category that uh, we're going to cover, if you've stuck with me through this series of videos, if this is your first one, uh, what, what I've done is I've ranked real estate lead generation companies by category. Uh, go watch the introduction video if you want to understand who I am or what makes me qualified to have this conversation with you. Um, um, sorry, I had to add the, <laughs> the list of companies. There's just going to be three because when you start talking about long-term Let's say short term I defined as months one through 12. So you turn a system on, what can you expect to make in the first 12 months? Um, long term is definitely more like what can you expect to make in the first 36 months to maybe 48, the first three to four years. And when you start looking at that length of time, uh, even systems like Zillow, Boomtown, pretty much every single system on the list, they all fall off. They all stagnate. Like, yes, maybe at the top level you can get six to one. But if you got six to one in, let's say, 2018, unless you made significant technology changes or added some type of, like, real important thing inside your sales process, which would be how did you work the leads, you're not going to get a different ROI. Uh, you can double your budget, but your ROI, your return on investment, is still going to be the same. And in most cases, in my experience, actually, ROI has been dropping off because as the market has been heating up, ROI has been reducing itself. Now, there's only one big exception when you start having the conversation about ROI. And that is companies that focus on long-term methods such as SEO. The thing about SEO is because it, it takes a while to come into fruition. Um, and there's nobody on my list that's better at getting faster results like Sierra Interactive or Real Estate Webmasters. It doesn't you're not getting instant results when you start doing SEO. You're just, it's going to take a while, no matter who you use or what you do. You're going to, it's going to take a little bit of time. The fascinating thing about it though, is that SEO can be relatively durable. Um, and it, it changes and it's really going to be based on some things that are outside the control of your vendor. But like in certain cases, like I published my first article that ranked for inbound REM in 2015. And it was a stupid article. I wrote an article on uh, real estate memes. I was just kind of uh, getting used to doing SEO for myself. And um, that article from 2015, which I've, which I've never touched, still, actually, sorry. March 2nd, 2016. Actually, I probably changed the date. I really do think it was 2015. Anyway, though, it's been here forever. It doesn't do much for me in terms of my business, but it drives traffic. It drives interest and people still laugh. I still get people leaving me comments on a blog post that I did years ago. That's the weird thing about SEO is that every now and again, you get extraordinarily lucky and your results will be enormously consistent. My website has never dropped below a certain point of traffic, even though there have been times I haven't worked on it for six to 12 months. So, and that is pretty much what would happen. And the weird funny thing about it is, is that you could stop SEO for a while, stop doing additional blog posts or adding information to the site or answering people's questions and then come back to it. And yes, it would take maybe six months. Once you have momentum, it's always best to keep it. It's definitely best to continuously add pressure, no doubt about it. But if even if you didn't do that, you stopped and started, you'd have a fairly, you'd have a much better chance of recovering and getting momentum again if you had it in the first place than with any other kind of marketing. Like you could stop and expect results. Like right now, my, my average blog post is taking about six months to rank. Um, before I stopped adding content to my site consistently, they were ranking in 60 days. So it matters like how much and what the quality is of, of you ranking. But as I'm getting back into the flow of adding content, it's starting to rank faster and faster. That's just the way that Google looks at sites. So when it comes to long-term SEO over the span of two or three years, you are likely, if you have a good partner, to see a strong but steady uphill climb. It's just going to keep going up and up and up. And what's more, even if you kept the budget the same, whatever that is, $1,000, $1,500, $2,000, $3,000, whatever the number is, 
you are probably going to see, even though the number stays stagnant, you can easily see two or three hundred percent increases. In other words, you can see massive increases that far outweigh the investment that you're making. Because of that, all of the long-term ROI companies are companies that either do well when you've done SEO on the site or provide SEO as part of their service package. And even real estate webmasters, which is not good on the ROI part, they're always trying to get deep, 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 deep into your pocket. But the funny thing is, the reason they're able to do that is they have clients that have been spending fifty to one hundred thousand dollars with them consistently, but they're making at this point millions off the website because they've been with them for five or ten years. That's how they have a business. That's why they're they're the company that they are. If they weren't getting results, there's nobody in the world that would deal with them. But they are getting results and for some people they're getting incredible results and they've been getting those incredible results for many many years making them whatever the roi is it's probably significantly above six to one or seven to one even though their overall objective what they so so that it's important to mention because i'm it sounds like i'm giving out contrary information it's important for people to understand that the original companies that kind of made real estate webmasters who it is, like all the people that have done business with them for a long time that just don't ever fire them. Those people invested money a long time ago. And for them, their ROI is probably 20 to 1. Many of them did a lot of SEO work and never did any more. They may have spent 30, 40, 50, 200, 300,000 dollars. Like there, there are clients out there that have spent more like millions with real estate webmasters. Not many, but they exist. So when you start looking at those numbers, you're shaking your head, but there can be those clients that have made 30, 40 million in profit. That's the thing. And they're, they turned off the major investments. Like maybe they have a small maintenance contract of two or $3,000 a month where they're doing blog posts or something and keeping some kind of content being added on the site so they can keep up that momentum. But here's the thing. They've got 30, 40, 50, 60,000 people coming to the site and they're getting a 1% conversion. There are entire large real estate teams running off mostly real estate webmaster leads. That's why they're placed on this list under number three. The thing is, though, over the years, real estate webmasters have gotten greedier. There results have allowed them to raise prices. So people coming in new are paying more and not necessarily getting the same result. And that's where I say they're deep in your pocket and they're really expensive. And I don't know that if they're for everybody. That's where my comments kind of seem to be on both sides of the coin is that newer clients, people just signing up for real estate webmasters are definitely not looking at probably the same upside as people who signed up with them five or 10 years ago. Even if they did SEO and did all the things, they might not see the same side of them. That real estate webmasters has changed their product. They're experimenting a lot. We all have to right now in the world that we're living in because things are going from being a desktop world to a mobile world. And no, none of us, no matter how talented we are, are 100% sure how that's gonna go. We're all taking chances and just doing it as an educated way as we possibly can. The, those of us that do it right, and succeed are going to look like geniuses because we're going to be out way ahead of everybody else because real estate moves really slow in technology. Like everybody waits for somebody to do it right and then they all follow suit. Like there are no inbound marketing companies in real estate. I am the one. So there are companies out there that focus on making some cool content, but they're not doing SEO driven sites. They're, they're doing neat little. So I, let me take that back. I'm the only SEO, like inbound marketing company that focuses on SEO. That's the right way to say it. Number two on the list is Sierra Interactive. Um, there are just sites out there that are killing it that are on Sierra Interactive. They've done a lot of additional work on the sites to make the sites what they are. So I'm not going to say that they're inexpensive and they're locked into Sierra Interactive and they're paying not extraordinary rates, but high enough rates to have plenty of seats. Um, Sierra Interactive's content management system is limited, but the top real estate site in LA in terms of traffic and search engine recognition is Sierra Interactive and the number two site is Sierra Interactive. 
And if any of you are going to ask me about my sites, I don't have anybody that's invested nearly as much money into a project as these guys have. Come. So there is no equivalent to to show, not because I couldn't do the same thing, I absolutely could, but because I don't have anybody that's made the kind of investment necessary to pull these kinds of results off. This is Ruby Home. 33,000 people come into the site every month, $60,000 uh, worth of traffic. So the site is delivering to the, to the client $720,000 worth of free traffic from the search engines. So this guy is paying himself nearly a million dollars in advertising to do this kind of content marketing. He's using Sierra Interactive. There's really only me and and real estate webmasters where you could even hope, have a prayer, even if you were a content marketer, that, that you could even have a prayer that you had a web de developer and somebody that was talented enough to build you structurally the kind of product that could get you these results. So um, there's there's not that many choices. It's a very small list. Like it's um, and it's definitely not for everybody. Like uh, in terms of a long term ROI and and really maximizing it, because there isn't an example of a site that's just killing it where the either the the clients themselves, the realtors, use the system personally to add a lot of stuff to the site. That's what Tony did here. He wrote. He's writing these blogs himself, um, and they're huge. You, you got to be a hell of a content creator to do what he's doing. And you have to have a lot of SEO knowledge to pull it off, which he does. So he had a, he had a background in uh, content and branding before he got into real estate. So for him, this was a good fit. If you didn't have all those things combined, it doesn't matter that you have a Sierra Interactive website. And long-term ROI wouldn't even be part of the conversation. But if you do have that, like he doesn't add that much, I think... Um, He's updated the dates here on his guides. So he's updating the dates on these. Like when you look at this, January, November, December 8th, December 18th, December 25th, December 26th, he's updating guides that he's already published. Okay, these are, these are already on the site. So I, I know some of these, these blog posts. But you'll look here in some of his stuff, like there are large freaking gaps. Like he's only doing maybe a total of six to 12 posts per year, which by the way is all I do for inbound REM. Because guess what? You do not need to do a ton of content on a site to be successful. What you need to do is really great content. It's more important that you spend a lot of time on something really exceptional than producing something mediocre. You will not get results anymore with mediocre. But if you think you can do exceptional, even if it's gonna take you two or three months, then you've got these three companies that you could look at for long-term ROI. I still put myself ahead of the list. Give me a guy like Tony who is my client and I would do even better than Sierra Interactive because the one thing that he's not leveraging that I would have him leverage that would deliver him a significant bump in his results would be video. You got to do video like this. The text gets you in front of the searches, but what gets people to want to register with your site? Talk to your salespeople is a video from you explaining who you are and like adding a personal element to the site. And he's not, Sierra Attractive is not the best content management system. So it's not gonna look the best or operate the best if you install a lot of video on it. It's not that you can't, it's just, it's not comparable to WordPress. So once again, even looking at it from that direction, that's why I, on terms of long-term ROI, I put myself number one. I don't know of anybody consistently doing the kinds of things long term that I'm doing, and I certainly don't know the, of them doing it for the cost. Right now, because we're still a small company, 18 people in total, um, and we're all, I've always worked this company remotely, my costs are much less. I don't have any of the overhead that my competitors do. I'm still able to be very nimble in terms of what I deliver for the price that I deliver it. So even in that category, I am far more aggressive than these other two companies. 
There's, of course, things that are slightly cons, like my, my websites don't work quite as fast, but they don't need to if the information that's contained on them is incredible. Um, and by slightly, I do mean slightly. Their seconds may their their website may load in 1.5 second, and mine may load in 2.5. So it's really not a big difference. That's it. That's my last video in this series, real estate lead generation long term. So please, if you've stuck through and and for instance watched two or three hours of my videos on these real estate lead generation companies, and some of you will, God, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. If for some reason something came up in here and you just want to talk to me there will be ways to do that either on the contact forms on my website or some type of form underneath the blog post one way or the other it's fairly easy to reach me um appreciate all of your time i know it's valuable and i hope i was able to be helpful